Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are embarking on their first official joint tour of Australia, and yesterday the father-to-be commented for the first time on his preference for the sex of the royal baby. During the cycling race yesterday, a well-wisher shouted to Prince Harry, Congratulations, I hope it's a girl. The Duke promptly replied, So do I. It at the first time the 34-year-old has opened up about his preference for the sex of his future child, but he previously told fans he and Meghan couldn't think of a better place to announce the upcoming baby, whether it's a boy or a girl. Harry also shared his personal joy over his wife's pregnancy as he opened the Invictus Games with a heartwarming speech. Prince Harry said, First of all, thank you for the welcome you have given Meghan and I over the last few days. I have been so proud to be able to introduce my wife to you and we have been so happy to be able to celebrate the personal joy of our newest addition with you all. But now I have a mission for all of you Aussies. And it's not how many shrimps you can put on the barbie. Our competitors have made it to these games, most of them traveling from many thousands of miles away. It appears the couple will not seek an official royal title for their child and are planning to follow in the footsteps of Princess Anne, who raised her children Tsar Tindall and Peter Phillips, without titles. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex want their first child to have a relatively normal life according to a source close to the couple. The unnamed source told the Sunday Times said, that word normal looms very large for Harry and Meghan when it comes to their child's future. Harry and Meghan's child will be seventh in line to the throne and if they have a boy, he will inherit the title Earl of Dumbarton, one of the titles the Queen bestowed to Harry on his wedding day in May. However, if the royals have a daughter, she could be called Lady Mountbatten-Windsor, and any subsequent sons would be named Lord Mountbatten-Windsor. But it is believed the couple have decided to shirk the titles and want to protect their child from the intense media attention, following in the footsteps of Harry's aunt, Princess Anne. The source added, Meghan and Harry favor the Zara and Peter Phillips route which the Princess Royal adopted. Princess Anne, the Queen's only daughter, turned down royal titles for her two children and they have subsequently lived relatively independent lives and have gone on to have their own careers. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are expecting their first child, revealing the news just five months after their wedding in May. But what did the Queen give Harry just hours before the announcement was made public? Meghan Markle is pregnant, having released the news to the public early this week while on tour in Australia. Meghan and Harry revealed the next royal baby is on the way, destined for delivery in spring 2019. The royal baby was announced to the public via Kensington Palace on Monday to public celebration. Meghan and Harry revealed the news to other members of the royal family earlier the previous week, however. And Prince William and Kate, the Queen and Prince Philip, and his father Prince Charles were able to congratulate the happy couple at the wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank. Before announcing it to the rest of the family, Harry first told his grandmother, the Queen. Her response to the news was to provide Harry with a treasured position at her side. Prince Harry has been named personal aide-de-camp by the Queen, which bestows some big responsibilities on the Prince. The official announcement came from the court circular, which read, The Queen has been pleased to appoint the Duke of Sussex as a personal aide-de-camp to Her Majesty with effect from 13 October, 2018. The personal aide-de-camp position is awarded by the Queen as an official military role. Only people who have served in the military as a senior officer can take the role. And the position is normally awarded to royal family members. Primarily an honorific position, as aide-de-camp Harry will be a representative for the Queen at certain events, including the state opening of Parliament. There are certain ways of dressing for the role when performing these duties which for Harry will be wearing a golden aiguillette, braided rope. Set over the right shoulder and chest of a military uniform, the rope is distinguishing for that role only. Those taking on the position will be permitted to use post-nominal letters after their name, as one might with a degree or certain accreditation, of ADCP. Despite the announcement only being recent, people are already theorizing on future names. 
At the moment Harriet is trending according to bookmakers Ladbrokes. Harry's discussion about possible names while on tour in Australia prompted a flurry of bets forcing odd slashes from 66-1 to just 33-1. Alex Apati of Ladbrokes said, Royal punters will look for any giveaways over the next few months and Harry's recent comments suggest his firstborn might just share a similar name with the prince himself. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announcing they are expecting a baby next year has tripled interest in their royal tour of Australia according to a royal historian. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are in Australia on their royal tour and have been praised for the way they have greeted crowds during their trip. Last week Kensington Palace announced the Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle, wife of Queen Elizabeth's grandson Prince Harry, is pregnant with the couple's first child. Royal historian Kate Williams has claimed the interest in the royal couple has tripled since the announcement of the baby. Speaking on Channel 5 News, she said, There was always going to be a huge amount of interest, they are incredibly popular. Their big first royal engagement since the wedding, Meghan's big first royal engagement. But, the minute the royal baby was announced, that increased the excitement and I saw that it was the front cover of quite a lot of the Australian newspapers. She added, I do think it has now tripled the interest and there is interest worldwide as well. Clearly it has gone incredibly well because Harry and Meghan are winning people over. It is an arduous thing a royal tour? I do follow them and I understand yesterday Meghan couldn't sleep, she has jet lag, she's pregnant, it's an exhausting schedule, she said she was up at 4.30am doing yoga because she couldn't sleep. It's tough work and it is impressive they are doing such a great job of keeping going and smiling and really being great ambassadors for the country. On Monday Kensington Palace announced the Duchess of Sussex, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, were expecting their first child. The statement said, Their Royal Highnesses are very pleased to announce the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in spring 2019. Meghan had previously said that motherhood was on her bucket list. Back in 2015, before he met and fell in love with Meghan, Harry revealed that seeing his brother's family continue to grow made him wish he had some of his own. He said, Of course I would love to have kids right now but there's a process that one has to go through in tours like this are great fun. Hopefully I'm doing all right by myself. It would be great to have someone else next to me to share the pressure, but you know. Time will come and whatever happens, happens. The Duke of Sussex was all smiles as he greeted the crowds and gave his opening speech at the Invictus Games in Sydney on Saturday. He said, On this day on 1973 my grandmother stood in front of the Opera House and declared it open. Forty-five years to the day, I stand here and declare the start of the fourth Invictus Games. Built around their talents and needs. Not just built for them but built around their recoveries after they had their lives changed forever. Prince Harry also thanked crowds for the welcome you have given Meghan and I over the last few days. Today, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made an appearance at the Coach Corps Awards at Loughborough University, and on top of looking as great as always, Meghan was sporting something completely new. Her hair, which she usually wears curly or in a bun, was pinned straight, with, it looks like, some V-fresh layers. Take a look. Because I am a journalist and I care about these things, I combed through 60-plus pages of the latest pictures of Meghan and found she hasn't worn her hair like this since at least before her wedding to Prince Harry. This is her usual style. You may be thinking. What's the big deal about this? So the girl changed her hair. But, there's something important to note here. When Kate Middleton announced her third pregnancy, one reporter noticed a very subtle pattern. And the internet latched on, using pictures as evidence. Here's Kate about two months before her most recent pregnancy reveal, looking totally normal. Taking it back a little further. Here she was in the summer of 2014 two months before the news of baby Charlotte was announced. Totally normal hair. The signature style. But here's a photo of her just one month before the Charlotte news hit, and media pointed out that she was embracing her roots more than ever. 
I mean, it's possible she just skipped a colorist appointment and this was totally unintentional, but it could still be part of a pattern. Here's the most compelling evidence of all. One month before the Prince George news, Kate was wearing her perfectly blown out brown curls as per usual. But then, only a week or two before they announced the pregnancy, she shocked the world by getting bangs. Bangs are not subtle. People were so preoccupied that the announcement of Prince George's existence on December 3rd was a slight shock to the masses. Technically this is all just a fun internet theory and no one from the palace has confirmed this in regards to Kate or Meghan. It's possible it's a totally coincidental trend. So, Meghan is not pregnant yet, but the haircut and style change is definitely going to keep the internet busy for the foreseeable future. <laughs>